Hey there, don't go anywhere. Coming up next on Green Team Television, we're gonna check in with green builder and designer, Scott Steele, so stay where you are. Hello, I'm Scott Steele, president of Steele Associates Architects. I am an AIA architect and a lead accredited design professional. And today what I want to do is walk you through what is slated to become Bend Oregon's first lead gold sustainable building. What we have done with the building is we've designed it in a manner to be open for public tours so that we can teach everyone about sustainability, the different aspects. We provided twice the required number of covered bicycles. We have a lot of bikers in the office. We have walk-off grates outside all the doors. This is a lead thing. What it does is mitigate the amount of dust that gets into a building and helps maintain uh, not just a cleaner environment, but a better air quality. Our parking lot's designed to have the minimum number of parking spaces required. That, of course, saves hardscape surfaces. We have two parking stalls that are dedicated for low emitting fuel efficient cars. We even provide a post with electric power connection for electric hybrid type cars. We've also got three parking stalls with preferable parking for carpooling only. That our building is 25 to 30 percent more efficient than Oregon code requires. And you think about that. I believe it's between 70 and 75 percent of all electricity used in the United States goes to the building. Now you think about a building being 25 or 30 percent more efficient than code requires and the savings is astronomical. Sustainability in terms of design isn't just one thing. It's not just solar. It's every component of a building. Buildings are responsible for up to 48% of all greenhouse gas emissions, way more than all the transportation on the planet combined. So it is critically important that we design all buildings henceforth as carefully as we can to reduce the impacts on the environment and the emission of gases. And whether one believes in global warming or not, it uh, really is a moot point, because frankly, who's going to argue about having better air quality and reducing the impact on our environment and our resources?